Hello everybody, Eminent Storm here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. In the last episode, we worked on finishing hooking up the food processing freight transport lines up to and including this particular uh, dockyard and shipping line for moving fertilizer from the fertilizer plant over here outside of Valhalla to our a farm over here that is producing grain and sending that out here to the whole system and I think that it is actually producing well at least the line usage says it is anyway So we just need to get some more milk being produced and get that out there, but that should happen naturally because it just started working. So we'll just give that some time. So we need to decide what it is we're going to do next. And what I'm thinking we're going to do next is um, do some more work over here at Valhalla. Uh, getting a tram line set up, getting a passenger and then you know see what we're going to do from there but that's what we're going to start doing right now and maybe i have to see what these what these barges can actually carry well not barges but these tankers uh, can actually carry because they they're liquid so they may be able to bring fuel back over this direction. We'll have to see if we might want to see if we can't get fuel coming over in this direction. So that these ships will carry goods going both ways, which will make them much more profitable in the long run. Alright, that's a plan. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, work on the road network here. Get a nice loop set up for tram. work there. I mean, I could just use this as an initial loop. Simple enough. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Too much slope, really? Okay, then. Ooh. Yeah. We got some lumpiness going on there. And while I do have the money in the bank to demolish that corner of road and rebuild it, Do I want to do that? Or do we want to route the tram somewhere else? That'll work. Uh, we're going to go with the small bus tram station because... is all we're really going to need here. And I'm thinking of putting the passenger terminal around here. So I'd like this to be close to the passenger terminal. So we may knock down some buildings to make this work. Uh, it's 190,000. Do it. And we're going to need a tram depot, which we can put that anywhere. Somewhere where it's not going to make the road too lumpy. Alright, and now we need to put in the 
the stops. That ought to do. The game keeps wanting to use this color. You know what? We'll just let it. This time. The problem is it's just so hard to see. One, two, three, four, five trams. Let's get them going. All right, we want a passenger harbor. And that should hook in right there. Oops, the wrong button. There we go. And I think the closest place to take the passengers to is going to be Gradania. So we'll go ahead and put a passenger harbor in there. And I think over here might be the best place to do it. If I can get the docks in the navigable waters. Bingo. All right. This is going to be ship passengers, uh, Valhalla to, uh, GRD. All right. For passengers, we're using the three letter codes. All right, that's coming into the right terminal. Is it coming into the right terminal over here so it doesn't do something goofy? Yes, it is. Perfect. Alright, and then we can use this uh, shipyard here to send some ships out there. Do I want to use the steamship ferries? Even though they look really good? Uh, you know what? Let's get two of those. And send them out there. All right, so they will make their way in that direction. And these guys are coming with their fertilizer. which should increase the output of that farm. All right, so if we're thinking that we want to send fuel back, 
We would need a way to get fuel here. You know what? That is going to be really, really easy. Uh, we would set up a road freight. Um, fuel to uh, Valhalla. And just run a freight line like that. Which I think we were doing before. Intending to move grain in this direction, but now it's going to move fuel. So let's go ahead and put a few trucks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just eyeball it. Now, the thing is, is that this guy is not in catchment to anything that uses fuel. At least not at the moment, anyway. Let's see what happens if I were to, say, extend... ...the road there. We would now have these guys in catchment. It is the industry that demands the fuel. Is there any industry in that catchment area? No. All the industry is up here. So... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to have to set up some road freight stations. And I'm actually going to use a full-on road freight, like an actual freight depot up here. That has a bunch of industry in catchment. We're going to need a road depot. Can I squeeze that in there? Yes. Okay. It's going to be a road freight. Uh, freight to Valhalla. Because we may set up a more standard dry goods line to come over here as well. And let's put a few of these. One, two, three, four, let's say. Let's see, how much does this actually... It also has a bunch of the commercial zone in catchment as well. So this will include some residential and some commercial and some industrial. So we should be able to bring anything over here. Which means we may want to actually upgrade our trains on this fuel line to be able to carry other goods as well. Ooh, new stuff. A new coach, wooden gondola, post bus, okay. And a bunch of great western locomotives. 
You know, I've been thinking about upgrading. Actually, these guys are carrying something. Five plank open wagons. Oh, because I was going to use them to move grain. Right. So what thing these things hold? Mm, not really all that much. So let's go ahead and remove those. Actually, let's just look into upgrading this entire train. All these are rear facing. Okay. 925 horsepower. Eighteen hundred horsepower, three point three million. Though this line is making a ton of money. Oh, there is auto save. Let's do it. Let's throw that on there. For freight. Machines, tools, food, vehicles, construction materials. I think a bunch of boxcars would be probably good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna we're just gonna really ramp up how many tank cars this thing can carry. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's bring it up to three hundred meters long. Do it. This is gonna cost us fifteen million. Do it. And then we're probably going to want to add several more trucks. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I called this fuel, but this might just be general freight. Now, this hasn't started actually putting any fuel there. Alright, this train should convert. There you go. to start moving some goods. Oh, there we go. Now we got some fuel there. Perfect. Alright, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to expand this to two loading docks. Vehicle in the way. Oh, alright. Clear the station. Even at maximum speed, those boats move slow. I 
Out of the way. It's not in the way anymore. There we go. Why are you still saying vehicle in the way? There we go. Before we have a vehicle in the way over here, we want to upgrade this one to two terminals. Apply. Ship freight. Oh, ship freight. Um, this is for ships. Looking good. All right. And we want the Klondikes, because they are going to carry everything. Let's go one, two, three, four of those, and set that on that line. Alright, so once that line established, establishes itself, then we should start moving goods, various products from here to there. Alright, but we now need to move some more crude. Because we aren't moving near enough of that, and we can move tons more. So, let's upgrade these trains. Let's see, this is uh, 952 horsepower, 1300 horsepower, and we could go with this big 1800 horsepower Great Western, but let me just see... Heavy 8 wheeler is uh, 1700. That is probably still the best bet. Let's go ahead and add it in, and then let's get I'm not even counting them anymore. I'm just looking at how long the train is. I'm going to say 300 meters worth of tank cars. That's an expensive upgrade, but we got the money. Unfortunately, that train left the station before the upgrade happened. Apparently, so did this one. Well... Let's high speed it, and let's just watch this, uh, this depot for a little bit. do something about getting more iron ore because we're going to need a lot more steel Are you picking up anything interesting? Not yet.
Alright, there we are. It's emptying. And there we go. Now we're looking like a real train. And hopefully that 1800 horsepower locomotive is gonna do the job. Which it looks like it is. We're already up to 21. We can always put two locomotives on it if we have to. Alright. I'm thinking we probably want to do a passenger expansion here at some point. But, we might save that for next... Oh. Sorry, as I was saying. Uh, we might save that for next episode. So for now, what we might do for the remainder of this episode is take a look at our various lines and see if there's anybody that needs some replacement. We got a couple of pretty old, well, a few pretty old passenger lines. So let's see if we can't upgrade this. This one's making some pretty good money and it's moving passengers. Let me take a look at the amount of passengers in the stations. Lots of passengers in the stations. All right. So this particular line could use a bit of an upgrade. What are we currently using? We're currently using a Sterling single and three teak composite coaches. So. We're going to want something relatively speedy. And we could go Great Western again. We could use something a little bit different that we haven't used before, like this A35. 1300 horsepower, 100 kilometers an hour. That'll do, I think. And what kind of passenger wagons do we have? We have the Varnish Pullman. We're using the T Composites, which are 14. These only carry 12. You don't really have a lot of selection on passenger coaches. This holds 14. This holds 12. This holds 14. And then again, this is a luxury coach. It weighs 60,000 kilograms. This weighs 15,000 kilograms. Gets our speeds. Holds more passengers. Used in Germany. What about the locomotive we're using? Um, first locomotive of the Jura, Simplon, and the Goddard line. Um, you know what? I think that's going to be good. Let's do one, two, three, four, five. Actually, let's do six. Double the amount of passengers these things can carry. Alright, let's replace them. Though this guy did just leave the station. Again! Though this guy is in the station. Or no, wait. 
Was there only one train on that line? Yeah, there's only one train on that line. That's why it's not carrying that many passengers. Let's leave one train on there for now. Alright, this particular train... Uh, LSWR440 using the Great Western Clerestories with the Clerestory brake cars. 17 years old. I think we can probably do better than that. Uh, let's let's stick the Great Western on this particular line. Let's go on locomotives. Uh, let's go with the the speedy one. And passenger wagons. And it currently had how many? Three plus the brake. We don't really have much anything better than that. Let's bump it up to one, two, three, four, five, six plus the brake. And you guys are also using the LSWRs with the four clerestories plus the brake. Which these things were 585 horsepower. Add that in, and let's add a couple of more wagons. Yeah, I don't think we're really going to change the, uh, this thing up too much. Make sure the brakes at the back. Replace that out. Uh, which ones are those? Ah. Nope, well, that the guy didn't get upgraded. So this guy will when he comes into the station. Tell they're looking a little rough. Oh, we can turn that off. There we go. So the only real change that's going to be happening on this particular train is going to be swapping out a loco. Adding some wagons. There we go. Nice. Okay. Actually, we're close to a new year. Let's see if we get anything new at 1906. Which we do. Some more Great Western locomotives. The Atlantic. And I think that is an Austrian train. Or locomotive. Alright. Some new options. New options are always good.
All right, we have fuel appearing over here. We have fuel showing up here. Wait a minute, did I want that to come there? Is... No, hold on. That's not actually where I wanted the fuel to go. Though fuel is making it here. Oh, because we have a relay line that runs from there to there. Um, that's not that efficient. Uh, let's pause this up for a second. No, I don't want you going there. I want you going there instead. Because that makes a bit more sense. Yes. Okay. I don't think we've brought any goods back just yet, or any, like, uh... Nothing on those boxcars yet. The potential is there. These trains may end up becoming our first trains to reach all the way out to 400 meters. Well, we've been able to move most of the uh, oil out of this station. I'm hoping a train just left, which it looks like it has. All right, so that is looking good. Okay, so I think that this is probably the end of the episode. So, we will see what it is we're going to do next. So I think we're going to go back to do some, doing some passenger stuff. Starting to get some more cities in the passenger network. Maybe down here. You know, Duckburg, El Dorado, Dragon Bridge, Lake Armstrong, Agrabah, and Townsville. We'll see if we can figure out how we want to do some passengers out here. All right. So for now, we'll end it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.